Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to go on a very very far away trip to the farthest planets we've discovered in our own galaxy. So get your popcorn ready because this trip will be really really long. It will take us over 27,000 years to get there at the speed of light. Welcome to What The Math. Well, frankly, I don't expect you to wait 27,000 years to uh, travel there because we're going to use Space Engine to travel there almost instantly. But before we go there, let's talk about some of the closest planets we discovered. You probably already know that Proxima B, located in this direction, is the closest exoplanet to us at a distance of about 4.2 light years. That's really close in space terms. But we are going to an object known as Sweeps 04. Actually, there are two objects, Sweeps 04 and Sweeps 11. You can find them in Space Engine by typing Sweeps and there they are, both of them. These two objects, specifically Sweeps 04b and Sweeps 11b, are extremely far away. They are at the distance of 27,000 light years. This is actually uh, past the uh, central black hole and they're located right there in the middle of the central Milky Way. Now we're going to fly there, probably relatively slowly at first, but we're going to increase our speed um, and try to basically get there um, at the speed of several thousand light years. Now. Because it's so far away, the only reason we discovered these two planets is because they're actually very large. Both of them are so-called hot Jupiters, they orbit relatively close to their parent stars, and on top of that, they're actually more massive and bigger in size compared to our own Jupiter. And this is how we were able to discover them by watching their transit in front of their um, parent star. Now, because they're so close to the um, central black hole, and because they are basically so far away from us, this gives us um, more idea about the uh, ubiquity of planets in our galaxy. In other words, we now know for sure that there are planets pretty much everywhere in our galaxy, even around stars that are relatively close to our own home um, planet. Now let's actually get uh, to this planet first and look at what it has on its surface and basically take a look at what it looks like. So here we go, this is Sweep 04b, the farthest planet we've discovered back in 2006. Now this particular planet is interesting because as I said before it's pretty close to its parent star and because of this you'll see that there's a lot of emissions around it. This is because it's basically being irradiated by huge amounts of solar radiation and so a lot of the material escapes um, at all times. In other words, it outgasses a lot of the material. Now the mass of this particular planet is approximately 3.8 uh, masses of Jupiter, and its radius is a little bit smaller than Jupiter at 0.81. Um, and basically here it takes it about four days to orbit around its parent star at a distance of about 0.05 astronomical units or about 5% of the distance of Earth from the Sun. The star here is um, slightly bigger and more massive than our own Sun. So if I were to look at the star itself, you would see that it's about 1.2 masses of Sun and its temperature is very close, but slightly hotter than our Sun. Um, but it is a G type star, very, very similar and very Sun-like yeah, in that sense. We can also assume that there are other planets in their solar system simply because um, since it is very sun-like, chances are that there are other planets here as well. But because this is a G-type star with a hot Jupiter around it, it obviously raises more questions about our own solar system. Where are our hot Jupiters in our own solar system? What happened to them? Where did they all go? So um, in this particular simulation, this object has a temperature of about 900 degrees Celsius and basically looks like a kind of a blue-ish Jupiter. It's a gas giant and very very hot gas giant and doesn't really have a surface so it can't really land here. The second object is at a similar distance. As a matter of fact, it's at a distance of 27,000 light years away from us but 
is about 15 light years away from, from this planet. So they're not really that close together, but they are in some sense neighbors. So Swips 11b is also a hot Jupiter, but um, compared to the previous object, it's actually bigger than Jupiter in size, about 13% bigger, and it's about 10 times as massive as well. And it's also uh, closer to its parent star, so one single orbit here takes just over one day. And um, because of this, it's also hotter on the surface and outgasses a lot more material. Now, this particular star, as you can see, is a little bit brighter and a little bit hotter. It, this is an F-type star, very similar to Procyon in that sense. And it's about 10% uh, more massive than our own sun. So because the star is more massive, because it produces more heat, and also because Sweeps 11 orbits a little bit closer to it, its temperature is hotter than Sweeps 04. But except for this, we don't really know much else about these two objects. We know that they're large gas giants, they're close to their parent stars, they're very, very hot, and they're at a distance of 27,710 light years away from us, but relatively close to each other. Everything else is a mystery. Now, what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to show you the um, galactic representation of these two objects. In other words, I wanted to show you where they're located um, compared to our own sun. So here we're going to actually zoom out and we're first are going to find our own Earth. So our own Earth is right there. In comparison to uh, the rest of our galaxy, the closest um, planet to us, Proxima Centauri b, is right there. As a matter of fact, this uh, cursor hasn't even moved at all. It barely budged. Uh, so there is Earth and Proxima b. The TRAPPIST-1 system with its um, seven planets is right there as well in that similar location at a distance of 39 light years away from us. And the infamous Orion Nebula is slightly away right here. So as a matter of fact, the majority of famous stars and famous stellar objects are all going to be in this region right here. Now let's take a look at where Sweeps is located. Sweeps 04 is right there, very close to the middle of the galaxy. And Sweeps 11 is also right there. They're both very close to each other, right sort of at the center, close to the central black hole. Now, interestingly, uh, these are so far the only planets we discovered in this region, but they're definitely very interesting to uh, science and to help us understand if it's even possible to have pl uh, habitable planets in this region. We need to look for more stars with more planets and possibly even discover uh, stars with terrestrial planets around them. We don't really know if terrestrial planets can form in this region of the galaxy because there's a lot of unpredictable factors here. But we know that gas giants are possible because obviously we found these two objects known as uh, Sweeps 04 and Sweeps 11. And by the way, Sweeps stands for Sagittarius Window Eclipsing Extrasolar Planet Search, a program that uses a transit method to try to discover these very unusual, very far away planets. Hopefully we'll discover a lot more in the future. Some of them might even help us understand how um, various planets and various star systems form and hopefully we'll even discover some habitable planets as well and well anyway that's all i wanted to talk about in this video and hopefully now you know a little bit more about these very very distant planets and the objects really far away in the center of our galaxy that we were lucky enough to discover hopefully in the future we'll find more but for now that's all we have and just for fun, let's actually find out how far away the central black hole is from these uh, objects by looking at it uh, using Space Engine. And it seems that uh, it's at a distance of about 1.4 thousand light years, which is somewhat far, but a lot um, closer to them than it is to us, because for us, it's about 27,000 uh, light years. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. And as always, bye bye.